Ahem. Hello, welcome to the Work in Progress podcast, the best podcast on Christmas Earth. I'm really good at these. But again, this is not here for another podcast because her controller is fucking dead and she can't charge it. So it's me here again on a Christmas themed podcast. I hope you guys like these podcasts because lost subscriber so uh, no I think it's because of these podcasts it's I think it's because I didn't upload on Saturday nor to Saturday before that because I was just not feeling it. it I think I'm having a little bit of burnout and I've recently heard something I think I was just watching something on Netflix and the one of the characters said don't if you're going to do two things because Let's take these two things as maybe two channels school. You don't want to half ass it. You want to give your 100% on it. So, I really do believe that, especially I saw it. So, yeah, I sort of just want to upload channel videos to this channel the best I can. If I have an idea, I'll try to do it. Because, you know, I had an idea for that. Vi- video from for um, Bad Blood cause I it was, Bad Blood just came on PS Now so I just wanted to do that video and I had a lot of fun doing it I got copyright striked and blocked in a couple countries aka all of them but yeah I had a little fun making that video it's a little lackluster mostly cause I'd, I was tired and I never really had a passion for it and I had no idea what to fucking do I was in the mood for that shit. So, yeah, I didn't do it. <clears throat> well, yeah, recently it's been doing pretty well. This week's been great, and that video was really fun. I had a lot of fun doing it. So, yeah. No one watched it yet. Liz liked it. Again, she likes all my videos. Because she wants to even out the guy who's disliking them. So, that's nice. But yeah, I really do have a lot of fun to do these podcasts or fun to do. And for the people who actually watch the podcast and like them, I'm really happy because I do enjoy these. So, yeah. <clears throat> the recent video, Bad Blood, was pretty fun to edit. I had a lot of fun doing it. It's pretty passionate. The, the first half of the video is great, the last half is really half assed. I had no idea what to do the last half on. I had some memes in mind, but that was really about it. I have more footage of Bad Blood, but I don't know where to go with it. So, yeah. Recently, Timefall 2 just came out on PS Plus. So, I recently reinstalled P- um, I need to check someone. But I recently reinstalled PS Plus. Not PS Plus. Timefall 2. Just for the sake of playing that. And Liz has been playing it. And, you yeah. know. I have a lot of fun playing that, and all we've been playing on Titanfall 2 so far is Frontier Defense. Frontier Defense is fun, but it was just on regular. Yeah. So, yeah, Frontier Defense is fun, not throwing shit at it, but sort of just like a... We, we just played Frontier Defense, it's just like, I, want, I sort of want to play like Attrition, Titan Brawl, anything. You know, I thought it started raining, but it's it's supposed to be fucking Christmas, not fucking April. Yeah, I'm going to make these very Christmasy podcasts now. (coughs) But, I guess I guess if Liz is Mike or anything's not fuck next week, and we're going to be playing Titanfall 2 probably, because that's what we've done playing. So it's really a no-brainer. So yeah. I had a lot of fun making the video. And yeah, this week has just been great. In general. So yeah. Very tired. And stressed. So yeah. See what we have on schedule today. I have one story. Or one thing I want to talk about. I was looking at this thing. 
this personality thing because I was bored. I go to the dumb side of the internet, like what those like dumb teens such as myself go to. But I go to them not for the sake of soul searching. I, I fuck you, but yeah. <laughs> I would go for like I'm searching for my true self and my soul searching deeds. No, I don't do it like that. I do it for the sake of it's interesting, it's fun to do. Get on and do a personality quiz. It's like you are this thing. It's like oh, you know it's the thing you do when you're fucking bored shitless. You know. So that's what I looked at. In the personality quiz is like how long would you survive in a horror movie? The personality quiz. I would be the second person to die. The worst thing is I would die off screen. Yes, I would die off screen. And here's my reason why. I am a grouchy asshole. That is my reason why. And I would die off screen. Yep. Dude, I'm crying. <laughs> but yeah, that was something. Honestly. I was borderline surprised. I was the fucking Scrooge. I was the Grinch, and I got my ass killed off screen. You know? I've seen another thing was a Zodiac, and it literally said, You would be F. You would fight the killer. And when you beat him up, when you beat him up, you would celebrate because you beat him. But then he would wake up and kill you. It's like, fuck. At least I beat him. Yeah. <laughs> At least I put him in his fucking place, if you know what I mean. You know? But, yeah. That was just an interesting thing I saw earlier. And, early on today, I think a couple hours ago, Liz had her controller. It was dead, but she couldn't charge it. So. She stood in the fucking party still. I don't know what she did. She couldn't access anything. So... I wasn't making the video on Titanfall 2. It was just me playing three games, doing some funny commentary. I when I get very passionate not passionate but I will get happy. I'm not I am happy. <laughs> but yeah, when I get into a good mood and I get passionate I'll be like, okay, fuck it, I'll do that. I'll do that like next Friday or something, obviously. But yeah. I'll probably make that. I do have some Assassin's Creed Unity footage as well. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm really happy I have some videos planned. They're both action based. So, this going to be pretty challenging to edit. So, yeah. I'm going to shit my drawers right now, dude. I'm in the clenching position. But, yeah. I had a lot of fun making that Time Fall 2 video. But same time Liz was in the party but she wasn't talking and the thing she's been doing recently is she would do a double check she would unplug her mic and mute me because I would be talking when she's gone you know so I was like okay so I don't know when she's back because she doesn't have the whole unplug noise and the plug-in noise. So it's just like, hey, you know? She's like, I'm here now. She's like, I don't know if you're muted or not now. I'm scared. My girl be stalking me. I be scared shitless. You know? I just like that feeling getting stalked. I like it's supposed to be the Christmas fucking spirit up in this bitch. And I'm talking about me dying in horror films and someone stalking me. <sighs> Shit be tight. Fuck. I was home alone earlier and fucking dog was barking his ass off outside. I just shit myself. But I walked into the living room. Dogs barking out the window. I look at the window. But a fucking house with Christmas lights. But the Christmas lights were like... <sighs> <laughs> The Christmas lights were just fucking 
turned off and on and off and on. It was like having an epilepsy up in this. I was like, Jesus Christ. I'm scared. And my dog was barking his ass off to it. I was like, Jesus. I was fucking horrified. At the same time, I had a great idea. An atrocious but well thought out idea. I was like, hey, I'm gonna go rob from the house. No. I. No one was at my home, and I looked at the living room TV. I was like, where the fuck? Took it to the flat screen, it has the OG PlayStation 4 on it. PlayStation 4 that can only hold 6, 10 games, because I would have so much fucking footage. No, I just love it how Deco at the time was like, I have like. 100 games. How many games do you have, Adam? Uh, 10. 6, if I'm lucky. I don't know why having 6 is lucky, but yeah. I'm gonna have the PlayStation out there, but it's gonna have kids' games for my nephew, who's one years old. Yeah. I'm smart. I'm smart as that one year old baby. But yeah, I'm gonna have some kids' games set on there for my brother to play with him if. I don't fucking know. My brother's an idiot, and he would literally request that. My mom would walk out and be like, Adam, can you install some kids' games on your PlayStation for your nephew? It's like, motherfucker's hands aren't big enough. So I'm gonna set them on there to make it look like I am. So when they can just give it a fucking shot, you know? So yeah. But I'm mostly going to use that TV for Netflix and Disney Plus because they're geniuses and they set Disney Plus out in the living room. So, I have Disney Plus in my bedroom. So I can't watch the fucking Mandalorian by myself. I had to watch it with my dad. And my dad would just sit there angrily watching it and I'd be like, this is a good show. But it's in the living room so it gets really noisy so it's like perfect. Uh huh. Ah, we already know having two skyscrapers that are built a thousand feet high. Starts with a nine and two ones. <laughs> I'll let you be the guest. But yeah, that'd be very good. So I'm starting to watch Netflix down in the living room now. It's the greatest fucking idea ever. So. And at that time, my, my parents were home KFC. I've never had KFC. Not that much. I've had KFC like two years ago, a year ago. Even before that, I think it was two years ago since I had KFC. We have only ate K KFC when it's desperate. Like, we have ate everything. Cause it's like... KFC, it's like, okay. But they brought home KFC, but they brought home macaroni, cheese, and buns. Or biscuits. It's not a huge fucking deal, but seeing KFC without chicken is like seeing a girl without makeup. It's like, how the fuck is that possible? This is... Uh, this is not scientifically accurate. <laughs> this is not possible. The Old Testament did not say anything with KFC with no chicken. And I walked up, and, and my parents came home with KFC, I slapped my hands like, yeah, get some chicken, get diabetes. But yeah, and I looked. They got macaroni. Macaroni is not bad. I liked it. But yeah, had that. That was great. And watch TV. It was good. But yeah, I just went to look at my mic because if you guys can hear right now, you just hear shit. I thought that was my fan because I'm my fan on, but it wasn't my fan, so I stopped talking. And I thought someone was behind. This feels like more of a Halloween podcast, and I don't like it. But yeah, I thought my mic was just fucked, so I went to the audio and I looked, and all I just kept hearing was this noise. I was like, "What the fuck? Contacting ghosts up in this bitch." I thought it was my fan, I shot off my fan and it stepped going and I didn't. They're like, <gasps> you know, it sounded like a ghost giving a blowjob. It was fucking scary. But yeah. Mm -mm. Interesting thing happened today. 
I just brush this thing off. I'm totally not like living the poltergeist stuff in this. But yeah, interesting ha thing happened earlier today. Dakota wanted a picture of his PlayStation picture, but yeah, no. But yeah, he wanted a p picture of his PlayStation avatar, and. I said, why you need it? He's like, oh, I want to tell you. I was like, okay. So I gave it to him. And then he made his outro or intro for his YouTube channel. Uh, and he's like, go look at your Snapchat. I was like, okay. And my phone died, so I, I didn't even fucking see it. But I was just like, okay. And I just said, my eyes hurt 5 out of 10. So it was just a lot of pink and black purple and black. That's all it really was. It was one of those like Minecraft intros you see. It was like ba -na -na -na, boom, and you see the fucking big letters. You know? It's like ah, da -na -na -na, boom, bah, you know you see the fucking letters and it just shows up. It's like oh! Apparently that's going to be his new intro. But he doesn't have USB so he doesn't know what to fucking put that in. He just made it. So I'm confused. <laughs> but yeah, he's gonna be a mobile gamer now. <sighs> but yeah. <sighs> Feels weird not having Liz on these podcasts. I'm just doing them by myself. You know. Because, funnily enough, I don't know if I explained this on the podcast, but we would not talk for the podcast. You know, it would just be like we would not talk, and she literally say like, "I want to watch a video." I'm like, "Okay." Two hours later, <laughs> we're both not fucking talking. I'm just sitting there watching Netflix, and we're just like, "Okay, I want to do the podcast," and we're like, "Yeah," and we just talk. My shit's be haunted, man. I'm scared. Ghost captured on PlayStation. But yeah. I thought that was just. I love that how we don't talk in the podcast. Are, we just fucking talk for a stray and we stop talking after that. Sometimes it'd be like, okay, I'm tired and it leaves. It's just like, okay. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Earlier. Uh, yeah, I had a fucking Death Grip song on my. The, on the video I uploaded today, but I don't. I I did. I didn't listen to this music before I put in. I just literally looked up lo-fi Christmas music, and I got the 30-minute versions because all of them were like six hours. So I was just like, okay, I picked two, and this is the first one I picked. And is this like an episode of Steinfeld? Talking about episode of Seinfeld, me and my, I walked down my, I walked down my dad, I walked, <laughs> I walked down my dad, oh that's even worse, oh, but I walked in on my dad watching Seinfeld, I was like, dad what are you watching, he's like Seinfeld, and me and him just laughed, it was, it was surprisingly funny, still, got the sax up in there. But yeah, it was surprisingly funny. Me and him laughed our asses off. It was good. Then after we watched Man Morning. <laughs> but yeah, we we're all about Greek mythology in our English class today, or on Friday. It was the funniest shit ever. Because our teacher, this, the way the teacher acted out Zeus was so fucking funny. And he was like, okay, Zeus just came down there. He's like, Slaps the sand here. You be looking fine, lady. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was funny. How he just <laughs> clapped his hands together. I laughed my ass off. I told that to Liz, and Liz just sat there like, Haha, yeah, you're not insane. So, yeah. In other news the new Black Widow trailer came out recently. Liz doesn't care, but I sort of care. Because as that Goodman guy, the act Goodman, the actor. Played Hopper. I fucking love him. So. He's playing as 
Fuck, who's he playing? <sighs> Just forgot his name. But that's not a big deal in this. The main villain is Taskmaster. Taskmaster's getting a lot of relevancy recently. Because he's been in the newest Spider-Man game. And he's going to be in an Avengers game as well. And now he's going to be in a movie? Bro. <laughs> it feels like they're just like, yeah, Taskmaster. Uh huh. What? But yeah. <laughs> oh, it's He Man. It's Skeletor. Jesus. Watching He Man with the bros, with the boys. But yeah. That was nice. I forgot what I was going to say. Just remember what we're gonna say. Neil Black Oil film. I have old man brain. I have old man brain. But yeah, um, Taskmaster. I really like Taskmaster. I really like him. He's fucking awesome. He's really an underrated villain. He's really that guy you bring up. Just like I want you to fight this guy. It's sort of like Deathstroke in DC. It's just like Deathstroke, my guy. You want to fight Batman again? <laughs> it's sort of like Taskmaster. You want to fight S Spider-Man? Be a frisky enough? You know, Taskmaster is just like, I want to be here now. I'm cool. But yeah, I liked him. Unironically, the weird part, I've never heard of Taskmaster until like the Lego games. So I was just like, oh, Taskmaster. <laughs> You know? But yeah. If you don't know Taskmaster, he memorizes your moves, then he copies you. There's like this cool episode in like one of the Spider Man cartoons. I think the n newest one they had like, Dis the, like Disney XD. Where it was just like he literally just copied Spider Man's every move. And it was cool. <laughs> Done. End of sentence. End of conversation. It was cool. Anyway. But yeah. It was cool because it really just demonstrates what he fucking does as a villain. He literally just copies you. And it's so hard to counter him because he copies your every move. That's why I was a little pissed off in the Spider-Man game where they just made him this really strong bad guy you fought. But it wasn't really unique. It was just like... Wanna fight? Okay. You beat me, I'm leaving. There wasn't really any change in the next fight you fought him in. You know? <clears throat> it was just like, hey, I'm a hard fight. I'm a mini boss. It's like, oh! You know? I don't remember if anything different happened. Like, he brought out a shield for a certain attack. I really can't remember. And I don't care enough to remember. But, yeah. <clears throat> so, recently... Um, there's this new series on Netflix. It's like the movies that grew us up. It's all about 90s films. Nine, talk about 90s films. I think Home Alone came out in the 90s, right? And talk about Home Alone. Yeah. One well, of my teachers finally saw it. And he's like in his 50s. So, finally saw Home Alone. And he hated it. <clears throat> because it promotes child endangerment. Yeah. <clears throat> and his real criticism of the movie is like, why, who is mother is that stupid to leave their kid home alone and make a joke out of kids being home alone? That's just so uncool. And this guy is also the same guy who makes dead baby jokes. You know? So, in this guy... So, he 
just saying dark jokes, like dead baby jokes, like, what's funner? Like, what's funner to get out the truck? With? Like, what's funner to get the truck out? Fuck you! But it's like, what's funner to take out the truck? Dead babies or bowling balls? It's funner to take out dead babies because you can use a pitchfork. But butching really dark jokes and one of the kids in the class she asked a joke and she said if Gordon Ramsay has oven problems he just has to resurrect Hitler to show him how it's done and he says that's just plain out offensive that's just racist because the Nazis were racist so that entire joke is racist you made fun of Nazis you promote the, you know where that came from? The Holocaust. People died in the Holocaust. That is uncool, bro. But yeah, it's sort of just like grow some fucking balls. <laughs> You're in your fifties. Relax, kid. Don't make dark jokes and start people and he's just like, that's an offensive joke. It's like, no, it's not, it's dark. It's an oven. Burn people alive in an oven and you're literally talking about dead fucking babies. What's worse, burn people alive in an oven or dead babies? That's actually a good question. What's worse? Oh, I would say bur dead babies is worse than burning people alive in an oven. You know? I That's me. That's just me. Dead babies is like, that's fucked. Because it's a baby. Burning people alive in an oven, it could be anyone. You know? Adult? Female? Baby? <laughs> but yeah. It's... Yeah, it's an offensive joke. But... You're also making the baby joke, so it's like, stop. Relax. It's fine. So all he did is just give, gave out this big fucking lecture to her, and she was like, I just wanted to make a dark joke. So yeah, I'm more of a cheesy joke guy when I want to be. Like, what did the janitor say when he hopped out the closet? What supplies? <laughs> but yeah, how much is this skeleton? Money? How much a skeleton? <laughs> I still have from Undertale, I think. I think. I think. I think Sand said that. I, I, I don't know Undertale. I never took the time to get into Undertale. I never cared about Undertale. I think I've watched three episodes from Jacksepticeye. And after that, I didn't give a fuck. <laughs> I really did not care. Ken cares because he's recently playing Undertale like, a couple months ago. Everyone made fun of him for it. You're playing Undertale, dude? Are you serious? But it was not making fun of him because he was playing Undertale. It was making fun of him because why are you not playing the new Undertale? Dunder, what word the fuck it is? It's called Dundertale, but he's saying it's not a sequel or not. It's not connected with Undertale, even though it's called Dundertale. You know, that's like calling the Holocaust the Holocaust or some dumb shit. It's like it's same fucking words. You know, it's stupid. It's like. I don't know what else to compare it with. I sound like a fucking idiot, but yeah. <clears throat> what else has really happened besides that? But yeah, I never took time to get an Undertale. I recently just started looking into the Hitman soundtrack for some fucking reason. Because I was bored. So I look at the Blood Money soundtrack. Holy fuck, you look at so bad. <laughs> It was actually a really good soundtrack. I liked it. Because everyone knows the Blood Money soundtrack for Ava Marie. You know? And that's really about it. I don't really care about the rest. 
of the tracks. The rest of the tracks were like, they're good. Honestly, I would bang. You know what I mean? I would fuck this album. I would put my dick in that CD. I would pulverize that bitch. You know that like <laughs> that's realized they realized like early on with discs like getting scratched on the back. When I was a kid, there was this technique of getting scratches off your disc. And here is the strategy. You're about to be shocked and amazed. Put peanut butter on it. Yes. Let this sink in for a second. Put peanut butter on your disc to clean it. Yes. Y yes. But yeah, it was sort of just like... Peanut butter... Discs. Wipe that shit on there and I would take off the scratches. And guess what? I want to take a long, hard guess of what the fuck happened to that disc afterwards. That disc was shit. Literally. It looked like shit. You don't stick. You don't rub brown fucking peanut butter on it and don't expect it to look like shit. This thing looks like I rubbed it in my ass. And I looked at it, it was like, that's going to be clean for a lifetime. The scratches are gone. Sham wow. You know? My ass is sham wow. It's the portable version. <laughs> now, the portable version of sham wow. Your asshole. Anytime you want to clean something, stick those precious cheeks together and make some money honey if you know what I mean stick a disc right in there and the zip yeah disc is clean 99 99 got it <laughs> but yeah recently I'm, I'm fat I'm a chunkster so this fucking kid walked up to me you know that meme where someone has the credit card but like some guy had a fat roll in his neck I'm not that fat I think I'm average I'm not overweight, but I'm in the middle. Like, I have that chunk, you know? But, yeah, there's this video of, like, this guy having a credit card, but this guy has so many fat rolls that, you know, the fat rolls in the back of the neck, you just swipe a card through the back of the neck, you know? So, make it look like he fucking got something. Like, you got money. But, yeah, he did that thing to me, but he did it with my tit. But he failed so fucking hard at it. Cause he, I was getting lunch in front of people, and he did it. He's like, check, and he did it under my tit. I was like, okay, and I said, you did it wrong. He's like, what? I was like, yeah, you did it wrong. He's like, I don't even have fat rolls in my neck. I have a, I have a double chin, but my beard covers it up. So it's like, you, you can't even do that joke. And I had my shirt on, and he didn't even try, so he just fucking rubbed against my shirt. He looked like he was trying to cut into my shirt. Fucking ninja slash, you know? <laughs> so that's nice. Got my shirkin' shirt cut open. <laughs> you know? Looked like a hot male actress. Fuck. Looked like a hot male actor on a stage of a Michael Bay film. Got my shirt ripped open and shit. You know? So yeah. I'm on the brink of sleep. <laughs> so yeah. <sighs> I do like these podcasts. I'm extremely sad people don't give them a shot. But people who are happy. But it's those people who aren't giving the podcast a shot is the part that makes me the saddest because this is good. It's free content. You get literally a half hour or an hour full content of him talking about topics and jokes. And I don't really think this is my fault. It's their fault. I'm, it's not being like, I'm, not, I'm blaming no one else around me. I really told him, like, give this a shot. It's going to be worth it.
and they never took the shot. And I've told them, like, take it. And they never took it. And that's the part that makes me the saddest. That's the saddest part of all. People are unsubbing. It's just like give the podcast a shot. You know? You don't even have to watch the game play. Just have it in your pocket. You know? Because Liz listened to this when she woke up. And that gave me an idea. Just listen. Turn on this podcast right when you wake up. You have my voice soothing through your eyes. Just like, soothing through your eyes. You have my voice going through you. It's just like, how you doing, little Sonny Jim? You doing all right? <coughs> Papa Hawk is here to sing you a song. <laughs> you ready? Jingle bells. Jingle bells, jingle all the way. Ain't so much fun. Have a ride on my dick and balls, alright? Yes. You know, I can be a fucking artist. You know, I can sing. Jesus Christ, the Lord. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> but yeah, I think I can pull it off quite well. <laughs> That's how I should start off the podcast now. Just have to sing along. You know, like, jingle bells, jingle bells. Holy hell. God, don't send me to hell. Please, I've been a good boy. I've sucked my fair share of priest cocks in my life. I think it's enough to get me into the holy heavens of your domain. (laughs) Of your asshole. (laughs) I think I've unlocked the VIP. You know, I got that XXXXX large fat cock. You know, Jesus, I want you to fill me up with that Holy Spirit. <laughs> you know what I mean, Jesus? I want you to fill me up to the brim with some good old creamy snow. Here's a question for you. If God, if Rain is God's tears. Then what is snow? It's a good point. <laughs> this is what everyone has to know. I like this podcast so far. I really went this podcast like dead on. Like I don't know what to fucking talk about. <laughs> I was like shit. I'm tired. My head hurts for some reason. I'm gonna take ibuprofen. Part. What's ibuprofen again? No. I want to take like night quotes. Cool, I feel like shit. So that's what I want to do. But yeah, this would probably be a short podcast, like forty-four minutes or something, but like forty minutes. But yeah, that's what we be working on. <laughs> so God, please come down anytime. I want you to be my special guest on the Work in Progress podcast. You know the holy, the. Jesus approved podcast. Y- you know? <laughs> Earlier this week, me and Liz talked about guests, and I brought Putin. And me and her, like, what world leaders or nation leaders would we be friends with? And I said, Putin. Me and him seemed like we'd be really fucking chill together. You know? Me and Putin, hit and off. Slapping her hands, not a romantic way, just in a homey way, you know, doing secret handshakes, you know, you know a secret handshake, you know, you get the hands together, you hold them, grip them, get that firm handshake, like iron, you know, you know, you fucking slip it back, you fold, and one arm folds their hand, it makes it look like a fist, and now one cranks their finger to look like a hook. So it looks like a hammer and sick. This is the worst bit I had ever did in my existence. Holy shit. This is why I'm not doing YouTube videos anymore, isn't it? (laughs) But yeah. I think I've been in the best mood ever. 
This one, depressed person. Say. No, I think I've been the funniest I'd ever been in years. I've made everyone laugh I've known. I've made Liz laugh. I think making Liz laugh is a huge fucking thing. The reason why? She doesn't find me that funny. So, it's sort of just like a big fucking thing. When you make the person that doesn't find you funny in laughs. It's like... <laughs> but, yeah. Basically, I made everyone laugh, so I think my humor is there again. I feel comfortable. You know? <clears throat> yeah. Probably gonna end this podcast soon. Because I have really nothing else to talk about. You know? And I'm tired. So, um, yeah, I would have a good night. Hope you guys enjoyed this late night podcast. You know? See ya. See you in the next podcast or next video if I want to edit next weekend. See ya.